How's it going, everybody? I am recording this directly following the uh, last episode. The reason being is because uh, the other ones have been doing so well that I just figured I might as well. So, I don't remember actually. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. I, I thought that was a different place than it was. Yeah. The uh, first two or three episodes have been doing so well, uh, zero, one, and two, that I figured I might as well go ahead and record the third one uh, just in case there's a double upload necessity so that's uh right there that is nipton and we're going to be actually heading to uh novak generally i wouldn't do this um but we have this combat armor that i don't want to just drop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just run straight there so basically i just went to the caesar's legions uh i almost called it the steakhouse safe house not the steakhouse i wish it was a steakhouse I'm pretty hungry right now Although it's like 10.30 in the morning. Um, but anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run straight to uh, Novak. Because we'll be able to sell our armor off. And actually perhaps purchase a weapon in the process. So that could be a good time. But you pretty much want to stay on this mountain range. Uh, because there's going to be some ra or I guess I'd call them raiders. It's like a gang to the left. And they'll have... Um, grenade launchers and stuff. Stay away from there, like I've said before. Stay away from the airport over there. You're just going to want to stay as safe as possible. And also, um, if y'all want to see... Okay, great. Uh, I'll come search through this place a little bit later. Uh, as a matter of fact. Actually, no, I can go ahead and search through here. Might as well. So, this is an abandoned farm. But what I was saying is, if y'all want to keep seeing uh, more episodes, just be sure to leave a like. Um, it helps the channel out, but it also shows me that people are really enjoying it. It only takes a second just to go throw a like, and it really helps my channel grow too. Um, so yeah, greatly appreciated in all ways. It really is. Uh, and it makes my day. When I see like that people are actually enjoying what I'm putting out, I'm like, that's killer. So what we just grabbed, that thing's called the Chopper. And it is uh, simply, simply a cleaver. I guess that is, uh, I think it has bonus limb damage or something. Maybe a little bit extra damage as well. I thought there was a uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla cap somewhere in here. Am I wrong? Oh, well. But anyways, as you come over this bridge, actually, you'll actually begin to see... I can actually speed up a lot of this stuff, too, uh, by by doing what I'm doing right now. So as you come across this bridge, you'll actually have some traveling merchants spawn in. And that happens every single time to me, at least. So I'm going to guess that it's just a regular thing. And I'm guessing the legions... Oh, it's the Night Stalkers. Shit. Night Stalkers are super dangerous. So yeah, I'm going to actually try and stay out of this fight as much as I can. It's a little above my pay grade. I've never seen that, though. And there's going to be two hey of them. There. Need anything? She's got a lovely voice on her. Um, so far, I don't really need anything that you have. No, I don't. But I will give you some of my belongings. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and sell the chopper. And I'll keep the grenades just, just in case. Now, yeah, so a lot of this stuff, like, obviously isn't as interesting as some other stuff in the game but this is all necessary evils to get to uh where we want to be so yeah just bear with me with all this stuff this is all about survivability so yeah let's see what you have hey there need any you have a less weird voice way to go dude Yeah, that's about it. And just like that, actually what I would do, there's a flame over here. I would actually ha head on over there. Um, reason being is we're going to be needing to go there here in a bit for a, little, a quick little quest. And this is our first encounter. Usually it wouldn't be your first encounter, but I've skipped through. So this is going to be our first encounter with what's known as Caesar's Legion. Um... Now, while you're here, don't untie those guys or they'll all aggro on you. 
But we're, we'll be using that Stealth Boy uh, later on to... Actually, we might be able to just do that now. The problem is, is we're pretty low level. Let's see if we can get, get away with this. Okay, I've never done that before getting the quest, so we'll see how that treats us. Yeah, might as well go ahead and do that. That's for a future quest, so go ahead and do that, actually. Might as well. And there's some mole rats that can appear around here, but I don't know if I've seen much else as far as dangerous enemies. I'm sure they're out there, but just uh, keep some sort of ranged weapon on hand and you should be A-OK. -okay. I don't know what I don't know what that explosion is all about. Yeah, the laser pistol is actually pretty good because it has a uh, really good accuracy. I don't know what that explosion is all about though. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sometimes enemies will clip through the surface, and that's just part of it. Part of the, part of the immersion. I'd stay away from over there. Uh, up, okay. Up in there is Deadwind Cavern, I believe. I'm definitely gonna want to stay away from over there because that's a death cause. And I think, okay, so they just attacked. I think just some regular old people. Oh, no, they're vipers. Oh, that's what the explosions were. So, yeah. Okay, I see. Oh, actually, that was... Uh, make sure you grab... Oh, wow, that's a really good weapon. Make sure you grab... Uh, the All the NCR bottle... Or, not bottle caps. Dog tags you can find. Because those are actually really going to help you... Uh, when it comes to getting the lucky shades. And we can get rid of the grenade rifle just like that. Now they're going to ambush a, sometimes there's NCR troopers uh, patrolling down there and they'll actually ambush them. Um, it's not like that big of a deal, but yeah. And then I don't know if I've ever seen them get this far, but this is an NCR outpost. Uh, and we'll be coming back here a little bit later. It's like an unmarked quest that you can come back here for, so I'll be sure to show that off. But, uh, yeah, other than that, we're just going to be walking. And I would cut this out, but, like, for anybody that doesn't know the way. Oh, shit. I had no idea what we were getting attacked by. And there's death calls around here. So, like, if you see a death call, try and outmaneuver it and just get, get it aggroed on somebody else. It'll kill everything within sight. Nothing. A whole gang of those vipers would just be destroyed by them. So, yeah. Just be sure, there's a metal helmet here too, usually. Where is it? Oh, there it is. He died over here. Metal helmet looks kind of cool, I guess. But, uh, you know it's Novak because you see the big dinosaur. And this is also home to the best follower in the game, which is Boone. So, yeah. If you're looking, looking to get the best follower in the game, if you're looking to just become overpowered and enjoy the game, uh, or enjoy the story, get Boone and Eddie, and just let them do work, and you are welcome. And actually, we could go ahead and do Boone's quest as well while we're here. We might as well. We need a new helmet, or hat, I should say. So, let's see what time it is. 5.21 a.m. We actually might need to wait. Let's see if she's in here. If she's not in here, this will actually help us. Ah, shit stick. She is in here. Oh, wait. You know what you want to do? You want to talk to her first because you can actually get a discount. Watch this. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you... Uh, we haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel. 
long as they aren't troublemakers. Okay, um... Is there... Any, uh, is there of interest around here? What is there in... Uh, what is there of interest? He's a sight. You brought... Okay, let's see. So she's going to tell us about Repcon, I think. We're going to get some supplies. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bike gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Okay, so great. So that'll actually, okay. So we can actually go ahead and do Boone's quest. Boone's quest is a pretty simple one. Um, I'm actually gonna, let's see if it's eight o'clock. I can't remember what time the vendors show up in this game. But uh, let's actually see to no, we need to get a Ranger Andy's bungalow, and that'll help us with the. Uh... Hey, welcome. Okay, so that's a medicine book. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Uh, what do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless. Okay, so if you just scroll through this, he's going to... Oh, I need to pass a uh, speech check. I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'll be back talking to him in a bit. To deal with all these people. Okay, those are the traveling merchants we just saw a bit ago. But this is really what we came for. Um, and you could actually use all of your money on it, on it if you would like to. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're... Okay, Jeannie Mae sent me. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and... Th well, a friend of Okay, so we got a discount now, he says. Um, yeah, do you sell guns? And then he's going to sell... This is one of the best weapons in the game for us, at least. Yeah, so that's at least going to get us to the point where we can buy it. And get 50 pounds of weight off of us. So, praise the Lord. Hashtag blessed. Oh, I should have used the barter um, book that we have. So I'll go ahead and show off the MF Hyperbreeder Alpha. 16 damage, 116 damage per second. Its ammo is MF Breeder. And that is why we've been... Um, that's why we've been getting all those weapon repair kits is for that exact weapon. So it has unlimited ammo, so you don't need to worry about ammo, which is great for uh, hardcore since uh, ammo is a big deal. And I'm gonna wait until about eight. I'll wait until 10.53. Wait for it to save. Okay, dehydration. What do I have? Food, water, a little bit of sleep. And like I said, we're gonna try and get our radiation up there, which is not that hard to do. Let's wait. Where are you? There he is. God damn it! Don't sneak up right in front of him. What you want? Uh, expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am, but not like you. Huh? Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Uh, I just wanted to check out the view. I think you better leave. Uh, just making friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Uh, why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. 
someone set it up. I don't know who. Okay, you're trying to track down your wife. Dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of. Okay, so. Hey. Okay, oh, I didn't finish it. Okay, so we're gonna need to uh, put on Boone's Beret. We'll go ahead and drop that, because we're not gonna need it here in a bit. Now, the way to do this quest <clears throat> is pretty simple. So you go talk to him at night, because he's the night watchman. How you doing? I'm fantastic, thanks for asking. So you go do that. She's not going to be in here anymore. And then you can, uh, as long as you have 25 lockpick skill or a skill book, you'll be able to open this up. Uh, absinthe, bill of sale, all sorts of good stuff. And you'll see we have a ton of carry weight. That was a big reason why I went ahead and got this weapon is because of the carry weight. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and drink the Sunset Sarsaparilla. And uh, this is what our character is going to look like for a good while, is this exact thing. So... Anyway, so you're going to go into Jeannie Mae Crawford's house. And you're going to ask her to uh, come see something out inside, in front of the dino. Hey there. Hello. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Um, come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. Asks no questions. She's just like, yeah, that, that works. So I always let them go through the door first, just so they can, uh, yeah, make their own decisions and whatnot. And there's actually some pretty good scrap over there as well. Uh, we don't have enough repair skill quite yet, so I'm not going to be too worried about it, but definitely worth getting. And now we just wait for, sometimes it won't work, but, uh. For one reason or another, but you'll see Boone's up there, and then you just stand here. I should have sold. I don't know. Maybe I need. I need a secondary weapon though. Look at her just derpy walking along. Yep, there she goes. Let's see if these give us any bonuses. Nah, no bonuses. Just value. They don't even weigh anything. So yeah, now that we now we can go talk to Boone and we'll get a little bonus experience. And this is totally a backwards way of uh, doing this portion of the game, but that's all right. It's it would have been just a couple more episodes, and it's better to just do it now. I'm gonna go ahead and kill his radio. The reason I do that is because I get like copyright stuff, and it's kind of annoying. That's it then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Okay, so... If I want to, I can come back here. Now, y'all comment down below if y'all want me to do the uh, follow requests as well. The thing is, is I would have to... Um, I would have to have the followers with me in order to do those quests. Okay, we do need duct tape and we need wonder glue. Note to self. So, yeah. So, I would have to kind of break my rule in order to do it. But it's not like that big of a deal. And what else? Okay, now the reason we're coming in here... Actually, there's passive radiation, so if you wanted to just sit your guy in here... Okay, there it is. Alright, so that is going to be our secondary weapon. So this weapon has a crazy crit chance. Um, this improves our crit chance as well, so bonus critical chance on this weapon too. Uh, the thing is, is you're going to have to use... Um, you're going to have to use uh, weapon repair kits on it in order to make it happen. So we can sell the rest of our weapons pretty much. 
So actually, what I should do is I should wait seven hours. Now, if I wait seven hours, I'll be able to sell back to a old dude in here. He won't know that I stole from him, even though I've got his uh, gun on my hip. Welcome back. Gonna... Okay. Sure thing. And I now I can know. sell to him. And I can pretty much sell all of this stuff, but that weapon we just bought uses 5.56, five, so we got to keep an eye out for 5.56 five, now. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even sell any of this stuff last time I was in here. What was I doing? Totally, totally just distracted. I'll buy some doctor's bags. So I'll buy some of that. Lockpick can be good. I doubt any of this stuff will be too good. If it, he has a laser rifle, something or other, it might help, but yeah, that's about it. That works. And we got a bunch of our money back. <laughs> I killed Genie May. Do I still, still get my discount? I'm going to stay away from that one just for now. And we gotta drink some water. So why don't I go ahead and drink some water? Get rid of that. Oh, I need to sell the Nuka Cola as well. Now, the best way to get your uh, radiation up, and then I'll be able to show off Rad Child, is to uh, simply simply stand somewhere that has a lot of radiation, and you'll be good to go. I don't know who you're really stealing from when you steal this stuff. I've never had anybody attack me, so I'm gonna just go to town. It's, it's all pretty good stuff for making weapon repair kits, so. Oh wait, we don't, uh, this is all really good stuff for Eddie to, Eddie to if you're uh, using followers, that is. Sorry, sometimes I can't remember if I've looked in some of this stuff. But we can't make the doctor's bags quite yet, but we can make weapon repair kits. We've got some Repcon rockets. Very nice. So this is all pretty much just materials for weapon repair kits. You've just got to know what you're looking for. And our bobby pins have uh, gone up quite a bit just from stealing and all that. Double check. Oh, I haven't been in this one. And yeah, I really don't think that we can do that without the book, but now we have a bunch of uh, stuff. So fixing things, let's go use that. Now we can create seven of those and we're good to go. Okay, so yeah, now we can go back to uh, Good Springs and we can begin uh, doing things around around Good Springs, that is. So we've got a couple areas to clear up, and we've got the road to Prim. And then we've got to go to Prim. So we've got quite a bit of stuff to do. Uh, none of it's too, too crazy. Um, so first things first, I don't know where Joe Cobb's body is. Usually he's like over here somewhere. Oh, maybe that's him. That makes sense. There he is. Okay, and we got a stealth boy too. I don't know when we're gonna use that stealth boy. Usually I just use the stealth boy for that one releasing of prisoners thing. But after that, you should be pretty good. Um, yeah, I need to remember to boost my repair up. I think it was 45 is the level you needed to be at. And we're gonna need a high repair skill anyways uh, coming up in the future. But anyways, there's a couple areas. There's a Yangtze Memorial. Don't go to the left over there and uh, we ran past it in episode zero, and that was to, oh, damn it. I meant to sell that thing off, but that was to, uh, to get to the, uh, the, the quickest and safest path to, to, uh, to New Vegas, the strip, I mean. All right, be careful walking down here. Sometimes the game can skip and it can throw you off. And you'll die. And that's a, that's a bad time.
And there's a star bald cap for you. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Hydra, I think that repairs limbs. And other than that, I think we should be good. Now we can head back out. This, this weapon will help uh, speed up the game quite a bit too. Uh, it'll be great against robots, and it'll be uh, really good against pretty much everything. But I have that gun as well. That's the name of the other gun. Um, this this gun actually has a, a high crit chance as well. But I was saying I have that gun as well, just in case I need to uh, swap to another weapon. Just in case. So this is the Yangtze War Memorial. Yeah, and it says, uh, caution, death clause. Warning, death clause ahead. And they're not lying. So I'm going to go back in here just to check and see if we looted everything. I don't remember if we even looted it in the first episode or not, but might as well check. White horse nettle. Take some maize. What else is there? Some dirty water and a bed. Let's see what our sleep's looking like. Yeah, why not? Why don't I sleep? You can sleep for seven hours. That'll increase my uh, hunger and thirst probably, but that's okay. Very nice. Um, and I'll eat that. Oh yeah, now I need to go to the uh, war memorial. Oh, there's enemies nearby. Can't fast travel. Very lovely. We can handle a lot more enemies now that we have this gun, though. Uh, it's it really helps that you can just spam it and it's automatic. Um, and that is the probably the easiest way to play this game as a first-person shooter, if you ask me that I can think of. There's usually a plasma rifle actually in, in one of these. Oh, an incinerator. Very interesting. Sometimes I guess there's a plasma rifle. Oh, there's a uh, duffel bag over here though. That's nice. 556, five, which we need. Good stuff. Okay, so we can fast travel away. So I'm going to go back to the Devil's Gullet. Um, although it's just right there, this will help speed up the process a, a wee bit. And now I think we're going to head this way towards that location. Yeah, stay away from over there. That's all going to be a danger zone. There's just a lot of rad scorpions. We'll be going back there for quest in the uh, relatively near future, but... I'll show this gun off now. Very nice. Yeah, we should be able to handle all this stuff. There's just coyotes in here, but it's a location and, uh, it's, you know part of 100% of the game. Although it's not a quest, I am going to go through all the locations as well. I need to I need to add that to my list of things that I have to do in order to qualify it as 100%. And the Brahmin stake wore off. That might just be endurance or something. I don't really remember. And as you see, this gun's going to make uh, short work of all of these other enemies. Okay, there's a plasma rifle. That's an early game plasma rifle. You're not going to be able to find a lot of ammo for it, but it will. One thing about this game is the weapons cost a grand amount, so you really won't have too much issue with money, probably. That's why I'm happy to spend it. Uh, Definitely don't be stingy in this game with money, because there's really no reason to be. And yeah, I think we're 
good to head on out. So that's the last little location that I wanted to go to before heading towards Prim. And then we got Prim to take down and then we should be good. Now on the way, there's going to be some uh, powder gangers and stuff. Actually, we could speed this up too. I'll abuse the uh, fast travel mechanic. There's not really going to be anything on the way. Except maybe some geckos and stuff. So I figure this is probably a better and quicker way. So long as we don't get stuck in a endless time loop. And these enemies are now powder gangers. Cool. Yeah, they can't really... They can't really handle us anymore. Yeah, I'm good. I don't really need the single shotgun. Now that we have weapon repair kits, this will be... Uh, we'll, we'll use this weapon on our character probably for the rest of the game, to be quite honest with you. It's not going to be our primary weapon uh, later on. However, it will always be one of the best. What the hell is shooting at me? Oh, you're shooting at me. Now, look out when you're coming by here because there's powder charges everywhere and I always miss them. Yeah, you just heard it go off and I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to avoid that by doing that. I actually think sometimes they can, sometimes I think they trigger their own because I've seen some of these guys die. Usually I thought there's three of them here, but I guess not this time. Ammunition, and this is all just for selling pretty much. I doubt we can sleep in this. Oh, we can sleep in that. Uh, let's see, what does this say? Read note. Uh, not many patrols out here recently, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north, head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. Very nice. So, guess they're talking about heading on. Uh, a good way to actually get a lot of radiation is if you can find a source of water with radiation. I think that there's a good source of radiation over here somewhere, to be honest with you. Usually you would want to totally avoid radiation, but not us. This will make us into a killing machine. Okay, so there's a doctor's bag over here if that interests you. Hmm. Not exactly what I was looking for. I'm looking for a high... Um, I don't think you can fast travel while you're being radiated either. So you want to be careful in that regard. The area up to uh, past Prim has, is an area that has a crazy amount of radiation. So we can get to where we want to be pretty, pretty quick. So if I really want to get there, I can. But... Um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep on playing the game. So this is Prim. There's one way in, one way out. There's like other ways to like kind of glitch your way in, kind of like I've done. You can like jump over the railing and whatnot, but. Alright, the Gecko Hunter just completely wore that. Oh yeah, I think that is the Rad Roach first the uh, Gecko over there. And you'll see the ammo goes up. It goes like from 0 to 10. So that's kind of how it reloads. So you can't just hold it down forever. But for all intents and purposes, you, you pretty much can.
And now we're back to Prim. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast travel back in. I probably should have done that from the word go, but at least I got to show off me fighting some critters. Okay, so... Yeah, we're supposed to do this quest. Now something you can do, this is another uh, dead courier. He was one of our ilk. Uh, that is Eddie, and you can repair him if you please, but we're not going to quite yet. Once again, y'all comment down below if y'all would like to see uh, the true 100% of the game, which would be me um, essentially going through all the uh, follower quests as well. So I'm happy to, happy to do it, but uh, followers are pretty overpowered. Maybe not in survival, because I haven't really used them in survival, or not survival, hardcore. But generally, they're just wickedly powerful. Okay, we're going to go back in here, and we got to go talk to Johnson Nash again. Which I could have done, but I didn't want to throw off the game. Alright, what up, dude? Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm a courier with Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Uh, I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? What can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Uh, do you know where, where he, who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. So men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Uh, one of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. So I need to hey, sell to him now. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, for some reason, they put the sell stuff all the way down there with this guy, but... Anyways... I love the music in this game, by the way. Absolutely adore it. Love it. Okay, so we... I'm going to sell... So you really want to sell the heaviest stuff. I know I said, like, the, the priciest stuff, but that's not entirely true. I wish they had something I could buy. Why don't I just... Why don't I just start buying random stuff? Fixing things, actually, is pretty useful. Uh, because I do want to get rid of, yeah, I want to get rid of that for sure. Uh, no, that doesn't weigh anything. Oh, 
All right, perfect. Give me a shot if you need. Ah, oh, shit, stick. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so now we are going to uh, go in here, and I'm gonna. I really don't need this weapon anymore either. I might actually sell it off here in a sec, here in a bit. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be going through here. Yeah, we're going to be going through this hotel, the Bison Steve Hotel. Um, so that's a hard locked door, or you could do the easy terminal. Uh, we don't even have Science 25, so that's super lovely. You don't really need to uh, to do any of that, if you ask me, because it's there's nothing too crazy in there. Um, and here, however, there's some decent stuff. I don't think there's any star ball caps, but a little bit of money. Um, and one of the most important things is the Tales of the Junktown Jerky Vendor. Um, that is for barter, and we actually are... We're actually going to really invest in barter coming up here because of... Uh, I, sorry, we're going to invest in barter because of uh, Pack Rat, which is one of the best perks in the game for um, hardcore. I keep calling it survival. It is not survival, it is hardcore. Different. Similar, but different. Okay, now in this room... ...is where all of... Okay, so the, all the rest of them are going to be in here. And this gun is going to be super powerful for this uh, period of the game. Uh, I should have reloaded. That's on me. And hopefully he like presses us back. Nice. Um, yeah, I can boost up my uh, leather armor now, actually. Not yet. Okay, maybe by the end of this I'll be able to... Is there anybody in there? Not quite. Yeah, I might as well take that. Oh, I could have just drank that. That would, probably wouldn't have got us all the way up. And, yeah. Okay, so there's going to be a fair amount of purified water here too, which is pretty good stuff. And some food. We're actually running low on food, so... Why don't I... I'm just going to drop some of this stuff that I don't need. I wish I could use that leather armor is what I wish. I'll just drop the leather armor. I don't really need it like that. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed, I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I'm not in a position of power. Captivity. Uh, I'll set you free. Uh, sure, run away. You don't like, like you'd be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see if there's scrap metal in here. Sensor module. That's a random drop. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through the rest of this building. There's not really much to it. It's just a bunch of uh, these, you know, powder ganger bandit guys, whatever you want to call them. 
I am going to sip from that water fountain, which uh, just the idea that a water fountain works in this these conditions is kind of hilarious to me. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I guess next episode is the episode where I'm going to be able to show y'all uh, exactly how Rad Child works. Some of y'all might know, but uh, for those of you that don't, oh boy, y'all are in for it. It's a good time. this go to? I don't even know. I probably do know, but I don't really know right now. So I guess I don't know. Okay. I had no idea this was here. I do know that my carry weight is in the shitter. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop all that. Rag out. Frag out. Fragging out. Yeah, no reason not to, I guess. Yeah, I don't really care for, for a lot of that stuff. They can have it. Bitch. Oh, you're right here. I did exactly zero damage with all of those, uh... Nice. I did exactly zero damage with all of those grenades to that guy. Yeah, this guy will mow through him. Yeah, in this game, some of the weapons like are worth so much that, that they're worth picking up, unlike the uh, some of the past games. Uh, I could pick up those cigarettes, but it'd take more time than it's even worth. Still in danger, so I can't heal. So that's how the rule works uh, for me, is as long as I'm in danger, I can't heal. And I'll be dropping through there later, so I'm not too worried about that either. Like the, uh, Laser weapons, in general, laser and plasma, are the two types of weapons that are going to be absolutely killer when it comes to uh, money. We haven't even used Chance's Knife. I'll probably sell Chance's Knife at this point. We never really got around to using it. Not that big of a deal, if you ask me. And I'll sell that, or I'll drop that. We're uh, we're not exactly hurting for cash right now, so I don't really, I don't really mind it. Okay, I'll go. I don't know if you can listen to this ransom note. If you want to see your wife again, alive again, bring the cash and small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve. And then they blew his brains out. Lovely. Yeah, one thing I will say is, uh, in my humble opinion, I don't think Sneak is that good in this game. Uh, it can be fine, but like, it's not, it's not that good at all. Let's see if we have any Sunset Sarsaparilla to drink. Hopefully, we do. Or two. Some quick pounds. That sucks. Yeah, I'll just drop that. And what else do I have to drop? This is a total juggling of uh, money right now. The weightless stuff is the best. So, like, all of this stuff right here. It's uh, phenomenal. And a switchblade. So he drugged up and then he killed himself. 
Nice. Really nice. Okay, so now we're allowed to uh, heal. So, oh my god, we actually just got to uh, the barter. We're gonna the barter level. We're gonna want to get to. So basically, if you look down in the description below, um, we're gonna get pack rate at eight, and then it says to get rapid fire, uh, rapid reload now. Um, that's totally up to you though. You definitely don't have to if you don't want to. If you think that that's like a useless perk. I get it. Uh, travel light's also good. It'll make us run 10% faster. Bloody mess can be good for five extra damage, um, or five percent extra damage, I should say. Um, which I kind of want to take bloody mess actually, because five percent extra damage it seems small, but it kind of, kind of actually, um, it kind of actually. I'll take that. I'm going to take Bloody Mess. I'm actually going to ignore what I said. Um, it's totally your choice. The, the reason I did that is because if I'm going to be using this weapon, I'm not actually going to even be reloading. Um, and I don't know if it even triggers with its um, regeneration. I doubt it does, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, that's kind of my thought process with that. With that. And that's part of the game. This game is like... All of the perks that I listed uh, down below in the description, those are all the best perks to take, in my opinion, uh, to have like the most fun time as well. But it's not like like hard and fast. You don't have to do all that stuff in order to have fun with the game. But that's probably gonna be just about one of your last opportunities to um, have like a free uh, perk point to spend on whatever you want, so I would use it rather wisely. I mean, oops, I did not mean to do that. Obviously you can do whatever you want. I'm not, I can't force you to do anything I don't want to. But uh, you're, if you follow the, Damn. if you follow the, the build I'm doing, I'm not gonna grab that Nuka Cola out of there, then yeah, that's what you're gonna, you're not gonna have like much of an opportunity to uh, do anything else for quite some time. Got a little bit of gun cabinet. Sure, why not? And there's a cowboy repeater in there, which is actually a pretty uh, expensive weapon, but that's all right. And then we can go in here too. A little bit of psycho. Actually, you know what would make sense is if I grabbed this cowboy repeater and I dropped all my alcohol. Because it'll actually end up helping me out if I do that. Oh shit, what was that, a leaf blower? Yeah. Don't need a leaf blower. Leaf blower is not useful. useful. It is useless. Okay, and that is pretty much it, I think. Now we can use the elevator too. I don't think we got any experience for that, but... Uh, I think I left it out, but if you go in here, if you've made it this far, you, you've earned this little tidbit. And that locked safe is the weapon Lucky. It is the worst variant, in my opinion, of uh, that gun, but it is closer to Good Springs. So I guess technically you can get it quicker than um, that gun. So yeah, it's a it's a basically a, a 357 revolver as opposed to this weapon. And you have to reload it uh, one little shell at a time. So that's kind of the idea behind that. Now you are gonna wanna get rapid reload probably eventually. Um, reason being is because uh, the weapon we're gonna be, a light shining in the darkness, the weapon that we're gonna be um, that was quite focusing on is those automatic and it, you're gonna have to reload a lot. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in print. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Um, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just the deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Okay, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over 
I heard the powder gangers. Okay. So now we got to go bring Law back to Prim. And, uh... Yeah, so next episode, we're going to be bringing the Law back to Prim. And then we're going to head uh, up to the Mojave Outpost and over to Nipton. So, yeah, I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Um and subscribe if you haven't already if you are new to the channel be sure to let me know um actually i guess i can sell to johnson nash and uh yeah who knows where he is in here but yeah i appreciate uh, like i said i appreciate you all for watching and i will see you in the next episode peace out